Hello friends and welcome to this second edition of Daily Dose, the new COVID chaplaincy initiative under community chaplains. It's a privilege to be able to get this thing started and even though we are only just stumbling along it as an, an initial start, it's just great to have your support, great to have you watching. So thank you. The whole point of what we're doing here is to offer friendship and support to people who might very much be missing that at a time when they're under lockdown or full of fear are concerned about things that are happening in the world around them and really not quite sure how to be able to deal with that. So, for what I can do, I'd like to be able to be a friend and to be an assistance to you, especially with these little short daily devotions or thoughts that come up each morning for you. So wherever you are around the world, I'm glad that uh, you've tuned in and that I can be a, a contributor to your daily success and your continuing ongoing life. May God bless you. Well, friends, there's so many things that we can think about as we just get on with life. Of course, that's the theme of my whole YouTube channel, getting on with life, looking at how to have practical wisdom uh, to be able to get on with all the things that God might want us to do. But what do we do in a time like this when the whole world is, is acting like it's never acted before? Uh, governments and uh, authorities and just cultural circumstances have been turned on their ear. We can't travel around the world. We can't even go and get a coffee in some places. Uh, life is very, very restricted. And yet at the same time, you, your life on the inside of you is not restricted at all. Your mental faculties, your, your um, ability to, to hope and dream, all of the things that you have that would connect you with God, all of the opportunity you have to be able to love and care for other people, to encourage and, and bless your family, none of that has been compromised or taken away from you. The person, the real you on the inside of you, hasn't changed and hasn't been compromised. And so I want to challenge you to be the best you that you can be today. Now, it doesn't matter what they're doing out there. It doesn't matter what, what limitations you might feel or how, what frustrations you're dealing with. You are a unique person. You have talents and gifts and qualities within you, and there are people in your world who value you for who you are. So today, make a point of being you. No, it doesn't matter what they're putting on the television or what you're finding on your device or what text messages are bouncing around or what the conspiracy theorists are saying. Just get about being you. In fact, here's a good reflection for you today. Ask yourself the question, who am I? Have I really become the person I'm meant to be yet? Have I achieved all that I'm meant to achieve? And what's more, who am I in the heart and life and mind of other people? And how can I be valuable to them? How can I bless them? How can I enjoy the connection I have with them? Just a little quick anecdote on that. I noticed that with my large family, I have a lot of grandchildren and it's easy maybe to take them a bit for granted when you've got a bunch of them, but to realize that for every single one of those grandchildren, I'm granddad, I'm a special person. And, and they want attention from me. Uh, not because my attention is particularly clever or because um, there's anything particularly witty or, or impressive about me, except that I'm their granddad. And so in, in a very real sense, I have a purpose and a meaning outside of myself in the heart and mind of those other people, my grandchildren, my children, my daughters-in-law, the people who I meet on the street, the people in my church connections. I am somebody to them that they value. And you are somebody unique. And there are people in this world who need to value you. If they don't do it yet, they need to. So let's today think about who you are and how you can be the best you that you can be and how you can connect with other people in your world, even if it's by telephone or by sending some kind of message. Connect with them and express yourself to those people. At the same time, maybe you could also express yourself to God and say, God, here I am. I, I don't know whether I should be impressed or worried about who I am and what I've become, but this is who I am and I want to connect with you for who I am, the real me connecting with you. What if you discover the real you today and release the real you today into the hearts and lives of other people as well? And as you do that, friends, may God bless you.